Welcome back to BBC World News America. The impact of Alzheimer's disease is felt around the globe and perhaps nowhere more so than in South Korea. The country has the most rapidly aging population anywhere in the world and it's challenging the cultural model of families opposed to the state caring for the elderly. The government has now made tackling Alzheimer's a national priority and started a massive building program to create more care homes. As part of our continuing coverage, our Seoul correspondent John Sudworth reports on South Korea's approach to the long goodbye. South Korea is growing old fast. It's a country staring into the abyss of a health care crisis. The number of people suffering illnesses like Alzheimer's disease is rising rapidly at the same time as the country is undergoing a major social upheaval. Alzheimer's sufferers used to be cared for at home by their extended family. But the Korean family structure is becoming more nuclear. Women are pursuing their own careers and people are no longer able to look after their elderly relatives. Lee byung Ray and Cho suk Ja have been married for 50 years. Alzheimer's disease has deprived Mrs. Cho of her speech, her memory and her power to recognize faces. Mr. Lee has one wish, to outlive his wife. 
In Korea, it used to be the tradition for children to look after their parents. But society has changed, he tells me, and I want my children to be free of this burden, so I need to live as long as possible. Mrs. Cho does have a carer, but it's expensive. Residential care costs even more and is in short supply. Alzheimer's disease is a growing reality in many modern societies, but South Korea is having to learn the lessons quicker than most. By some measurements, it is the fastest aging country on the planet. In the year 2000, around 7% of the population was over the age of 65. Five years later, 9%. By 2019, the number of over 65s will have doubled, with spending on the elderly leaping from 18 to 26 and then to 50% of the healthcare budget. Here's South Korea's real problem, ably demonstrated by this obliging family. If two sets of grandparents have only one child each, who meet and marry and then in turn have only one child, the result is an upside-down pyramid. A generation of single children will grow up to face an enormous health care tax bill, all because of the falling birth rate. So the government has no choice but to raise taxes, and that's exactly what it's done. From the 1st of July this year, everybody's health insurance payments have gone up by 4%. The money is specifically to fund the long-term care of the elderly, with almost half the cash used to fund the care of Alzheimer's patients. Care that will be provided in residential homes, some of which have yet to be built. South Korea has been building at a rate of 100 new homes every year for the past decade. The figures suggest that many more will be needed. The type of care that used to be done by individual families is having to be taken over by the state. The increase in insurance payments will mean the burden on individuals will decrease, and those who are trapped into having to take care for relatives will be free to work. Tackling the projected rise in Alzheimer's cases is now a South Korean health priority, but the number of patients will almost double by the end of the next decade. Experts fear the provision of care may continue to fall short of what is needed. John Sudworth, BBC News, Seoul.